Wayne Thiebaud is an American painter who grew up in California. He taught at Sacramento City College and UC Davis. He is 100 years old, but he continues to play tennis and work hard at his paintings. He lives along the Sacramento River. He said about teaching, I still see quite a number of my former students. Teaching was very important to me. I am primarily, in my mind, just an old art teacher. Thibaut is famous for painting desserts. He painted each dessert with thick, heavy strokes, produce a textured surface. He transformed the paint into dense, buttery frosting or thick whipped cream. And he applied the paint like a baker would spread frosting. The food in his paintings look real enough to eat. He also painted pies, lipsticks, paint cans, ice cream, pastries, and hot dogs, as well as landscapes and figure paintings. But it is these delicious looking foods that he's best known for. Thibaut prefers to paint from memory because photographs cannot capture the essence of everyday objects like a slice of pie or a cake the way the mind's eye can. Thibaut said, if you stare at an object as you do when you paint, there is no point at which you can stop learning from it. So let's get started. We're gonna use color construction paper. You can use any color you like. It could be white, black, or any color. And I'm just gonna use a color pencil just to get started with outlining my cake. And I wanna do a cake with a slice cut out of it. So I'm gonna just make some reference dots so that I remember where to take that slice out of the cake before I draw the entire cake. And so let me show you how to do that. I'm just gonna make some dots. That's how big my slice is gonna be, how wide it will be. And then I can go ahead and start drawing the top of the cake. And, and then depending on how tall of a cake you want, you go down with lines on each side. That's pretty big for a cake. So, and then I need to make a third dot. So they're kind of like, a triangular shape on the top and the bottom so that I know where to take the slice. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a line between and then parallel lines on the top and the bottom so that I can, I have this sort of three-dimensional slice of cake. And now I'm gonna draw the sides and I'm not gonna go all the way down because I wanna have also parallel lines that match the top that kind of curve up so it goes along with those top curves. Okay, so now I have my cake. You could decorate it however you want. You can put candles, you can draw on it. And then you can add a platter of any type that you like. I'm gonna go ahead and add a platter on mine. And so that'll just basically be an oval going around to the other side. And on mine, I'll have a little stand. You can do yours however you like of course. And so I'm pretty much ready with my cake and it doesn't have to be perfect because art is exploration. And I'm gonna use chalk pastels to blend in the colors of this cake. And you can think about what flavor you want, how many layers of you know filling you want, whether there's gonna be strawberries inside that filling. And remember when you add the filling, the, of the layers, you want to also go parallel to the top line, so they're not they're not stripes going straight across. They're going 
at an angle so it kind of matches that three-dimensional slice out of the cake. So now we got it and I think we're ready to start coloring. So chalk pastels. Remember, the best thing with chalk pastels is blending. So you don't have to be perfect. You could just add in the colors that you want, add some lighter colors, blend them together, and let the chalk pastel work its magic. Don't worry about smudges, because the very end will just kind of color the background. So let's go. Mm -hmm. 